Hey guys, so in today's mini video, I wanted to share uh, a few things. So first, the process of how I write my uh, weekly emails and uh, the storage of an emails. Um, and also, how do I train and help my team to write copy in my voice as much as possible. And I think that's very important for anybody who runs a business, uh, who has a small team, even if it's a VA or some sort of um, intern, or it's a large team, you know, how do you outsource your voice? It's very hard to do. You still have to do a lot yourself, but I'll share some of the things that I am doing. And I decided to also give an example of what we're doing literally today and what I'm working on today. So tonight I'm going to send out this email. And this is an email, a story driven email, uh, which previews uh, today's um, YouTube video. And also is a sort of personal story on the past couple of weeks of what I've been up to. So as you know, I'm a big fan of um, enthusing your emails and your copy with story, uh, obviously doing that when it's right. Um, and we talked a lot about stories in the previous call that I did in the Ikigai Growth Tribe. I think that was the call that I did um, last week or the week before. Um, so I encourage you to watch it. And although the, the, we, we sort of named the call um, sort of around how to become a thought leader in your niche and build your own philosophy, what it really talks about is, um, you know, or a big part of the call is um, where we talk about how can you take your stories and, and use your stories to support and back up uh, the products that you create the cause that, that you decide to pursue, uh, the business that you want to grow, and so forth, right? Um, so, so this is quite important, um, and there's a lot of uh, sort of foundational stuff in that call, so do have uh, a watch um, if you just head back to the library. So now, um, uh, talking about today's call, uh, sorry, today's email that, that I'm sending out, so it's a very personal email. In it, I sort of share the story of how my month has my month has become uh, has started in in, in Japan um, in, on the island of Tsushima, and I was just sharing how because of first of all limitations of the island, uh, you know, with myself starting. And by, by the way, this email is coming out tonight, so it hasn't come out yet. It's, a, it's, your, it's your preview. Um, but I'm sharing basically how that sort of routine of me being in this samurai routine in Japan was so strict as well as, uh, you know, there was no proper Wi-Fi. Um, you know, I, I was in a time zone that was so not compatible with the rest of my team that really made it possible, impossible for me to work. And I kind of had to quit for two weeks. So I talk about that. Uh, sharing my genuine experience and something that has been present, um, you know, and then moving on to a segue where I talk about a business lesson that is a business lesson for myself as well as possibly for the reader, right? So then I go into uh, sort of sharing more around how we as business owners, you know, for us, how important it is to step up, to step away from day to day. Uh, of running a business and really then step up our sort of ideation and creation in the business because if we are in the grind of running a business uh, it's, it's very hard to, to do anything else. So anyway I do the, I, I make that segue and, and I share that story of how um, you know I've I built up this freedom business and how I had designed it intentionally um, and then I lead it to a CTA um, and more value. So I sort of share how you can create a custom GPT in five minutes. And that is a solution for those that can't, for example, build a team uh, when starting out or are not in the position to, to build uh, their team yet. So uh, GPTs, you know, are a good replacement for that. 
So as I was writing this email, um, I also thought it, the time has come to do something that I haven't done yet within my own team. And that is automating this tone of voice. So what really happens most of the time when I would write an email like this, I would um, you know, paste it into, copy paste it into ChatGPT, and then I would get it to proofread it. And then I would give it instructions around my voice. Uh, and style and, and so forth. And I, and this time around, I thought, well, that's a bit laborious. Um, it's about the time I take my own advice and actually set up uh, my, my tone of voice, GPT, that I can then, you know, also pass it on to my team, uh, the customer support team, uh, you know, our copywriters who can tap into, into that um, resource as well. So, this is for anybody that wants to automate their voice. Again, this is not going to be 100% automation where it's sort of going to be seamless, but it is a good start. So what I've done here is I've um, created a GPT um, called Darius's Tone of Voice. And by the way, uh, the instructions on technically how to create a GPT are really coming up in today's uh, video. So um, have a watch if you do not know how to do it. Um, but anyway, so I named it, um, you know, uh, Darius's tone of voice. I gave it a, a brief description, uh, instructions. I said, you know, please scan all my emails in the knowledge file. So I had two documents for the knowledge file. I compiled uh, the emails that I've sent out in the past year and a half uh, that were written solely by myself. Um, and I fed these PDF files um, to ChatGPT. Um, and I instructed, so I had two of these, and then I instructed ChatGPT, um, as I said, to, uh, you know, to scan these emails in the knowledge file, and I sort of added that these emails are written in Darius's voice. Uh, Darius is the founder of the business. When instructed, write, uh, copy, based on the tone of voice, stories, uh, syntax, style, and general sense feel of these emails. Constantly reference knowledge file when writing and improving my copy. Please use British spelling as well. So this is how I've set up my um, tone of voice um, GPT. So for your knowledge files, this can be anything. If you've written any sort of longer social media posts, maybe you've recorded some videos where you know you feel that your tone of voice is very clear, you can use those. Uh, obviously, any emails that you've written uh, previously, um, anything that really has your tone of voice that you can feed it to ChatGPT, uh, you know, it, it works. Um, so for now, I've just started out with these two docs. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna perfect it because I've literally put this together in three minutes, like, uh, because I had these PDFs already uh, and I just had to upload it, right? Um, and then, and then I did a, com a few conversation starters. So I, I, I went, please proofread this email and tweet just slightly based on Darius's voice. So this is the instance where I just said I would have written an email and I posted it into ChatGPT, uh, pasted it into ChatGPT, and I wanted to um, proofread it. Uh, but I wanted, but what it often does, it sort of starts rewriting the whole thing, and I hate it. And then, um, you know, it doesn't quite work. So I have to always instruct it not to rewrite it. Um, and then, I, you know, this whole tone of voice thing becomes a training experience in each session with ChatGPT. So in this case, I was like, okay, well, you have these emails, reference those and tweak the email when needed, um, you know, but I can also add, like, not to rewrite it. Um, but, you know, but reference uh, the, the knowledge files. Another uh, sort of uh, mention, another conversation starter, starter I added was for our customer support team, which I would sort of suggest them to um, do the following. So I'd go, please rewrite this customer support response in direct voice. So whatever you know, email they would have written to a client, uh, they could paste it. And based on the style, you know, ChatGPT would generate them an email. And then I did one more thing, uh, which would be interesting to explore. Is like, you know, please describe Darius's tone of voice to me in great detail and how I could copy it. So that's like if anybody on the team wants to sort of have a summary of uh, the way we want the emails to sound. So, for example, if I, I click on this 
conversation starter, uh, you know, and it sort of goes into uh, breaking down what my tone of voice is and, and how it sounds and, you know, um, um, you know, points out multiple um, tips for, for people to, uh, for the team to take on and um, implement in their copy. So, you know, and right after I've done, um, finished this bot, I, I, I took this bot and I copy pasted that for the team. And I said, hey, here is your um, you know, uh, clone of me, um, have fun with it. And, uh, you know, and, and hopefully um, use it for, for some of our emails. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna, you know, a disclaimer, I'm not gonna outsource writing these emails. Like, this is something that I love doing and I, it's, it's quite important. And I, I will write these story-driven emails. But I feel that whenever it comes to, say, an email about a call that we just had and it's a call summary, well, that's an easy one to outsource, right? Um, because as a business owner, not only that you want to have these moments to step away from running your business, um, you know, occasionally, every quarter, every, every half a year, every year, you know, and go on a retreat, a sabbatical or whatever, but you also need to be able to step away from your day-to-day -day operations, even, w even on any single day, for you to really do some deep work, uh, do some creative uh, work as well. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I would say um, is quite of importance here. Um, and see how you can also... Um, implement and, and apply some of these, um, uh, you know, tips in, in, in writing your, your own emails and helping and training your own team here. I'll see you very soon on our calls. Um, some of our AI experts also um, delivering some really good calls uh, this week. Um, and also, um, do not forget that for more info on storytelling uh, and, and building a brand story, just go back to our doc, How to Become a Thought Leader, and the call that we did a few weeks ago. Um, so this is definitely a good resource to sort of further expand on what we just covered. And again, if you want to build your own GPT and you do not know how to do it, uh, watch today's video on YouTube where I, I just do a very sort of simple uh, you know, instructions-based uh, explanation of it. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll speak to you very soon.